Hey, YouTube. I'm 12 and a half hours into a live stream. It's 1.30 in the morning. I'm really tired. But I just finished playing The Medium on Xbox Game Pass. I just finished streaming it. And I'd like to give my review. Now, it's really curious because this game is rated a perfect five out of five stars on Xbox Game Pass. Just so you know that, okay? And I think that's quite weird because I just played through the game and I, I don't know if I would give it a perfect five out of five stars, but I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it. I'm going to talk about it with you guys now. Maybe I'll be able to, maybe I'll be able to, um, finalize my thoughts as I get it out of my system. So, it's a horror game. You play as a medium, very spiritual game. Very metaphysical game. Not, not spiritual as in, in the religious sense, but spiritual, like, in the metaphysical sense demons that you ward off things like that <clears throat> there's not too much of a challenge in this game this game wants to be beaten very 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 linear this game wants you to finish it wants you to beat it um does that make it a bad game i wouldn't say so i actually think that <clears throat> Excuse me. I actually think that we have to get rid of this, don't we? I actually think that um it's mostly enjoyable. Sorry. Really tired. But doesn't mean I'm gonna end the stream soon. But it's a great, it's a good game, good story. Um, I've been playing way too many games where there's way too much lore. Um, Dishonored really did that to me. There was just way too much lore in it, where you're like, dude, I'm not reading all of this. I'm just not reading all of this. You have to really, really, really have love for the game if you're to be able to to force yourself to do something like that. I'm not about to read all of that shit. The medium, unfortunately, suffers of the same thing. Way too much lore. Don't really care too much about it. Cool, it takes place in, like, post-communist Poland. Whatever. Don't care. I just want the spooky scaries. It's got the spooky scaries. But it's just not perfect. Um... <clears throat> It's very much like a Resident Evil or Silent Hill game, very much, like, like, tries to show its appreciation for those games, but the only way in that it fails is it's not as challenging, it's also kind of not as fun. It is a good game if you're interested in a story game. It's worth a play, but it's not really worth a buy, in my opinion. I was able to try it on Xbox Game Pass. That's probably the way you should do it. But would I recommend this? Um, in general, I would rate this game a 6 out of 10, chat. 6 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5 in the Xbox Game Pass uh, review module thingy. And um, yeah, that's just how I feel. I don't really regret playing it. It was fun. It was quite fun. But just didn't quite... It wasn't a home run like the 5 stars somewhat implied it might be. But then again, Xbox Game Pass, people who review Xbox games, probably not the best source for that kind of information. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, 
you want to be a part of these kind of things live, follow me on twitch.tv slash ooze pop. Okay? Thank you. Six out of ten. The medium. Bye-bye.